Hello, welcome back to another edition of Junkyard Hack. Um, this video, we're going to cover the uh, high beams that are going to be installed in this car, uh, like I mentioned in the last video. Um, now, this car, the uh, 60 Biscayne, I'm trying to get it through inspection. It needs high beams to pass inspection. Uh, needs a couple other things, but right now we're just focusing on high beams. The high beam lights are those center lights, the one that's out right there on the left side and the one that's in on the right side without the uh, trim ring. Those are the high beam lights, and they're separate from the other lights in a typical four-door, four-light setup system that you had in older cars. Now, I could um, trace down the problem as to why the high beams aren't working in the wiring here. And if you look at this spaghetti and this mess, it goes all the way back there, through there, and into there. Um, somewhere in there lies the problem because the switch, the foot switch in the cab is working, but somehow it's not getting power out here to the um, lights. Now, I'm not exactly sure what it's called, single pole, double throw, double throw, triple catch, I don't know what it's called, but it's a switch that basically, <clears throat> on when it's on low beams, it lights up the circuit for low beams, and when it's on high beams, it lights up the circuit for all four lights. Okay, all four lights light up. So uh, it's either one or the other. So uh, I'm going to leave it on low beam, and because I'm the hack, I'm going to have a uh, quick fix for this, and this is basically a simple circuit that I'm wiring to the battery. I wired a hot with the fuse and tied that into this right here, this red wire. That scotch clip I have here goes, and a wire goes down through there to that light. So that's the hot wire, the red wire. Now, I'm not so much of a hack that I'm using red for both hot and ground, so at least that's good. But anyway, the other side goes over here, down here, and you have, and I have this set up here. Now, this is replicated over on the other side. It just got a light on it. I just got a light to test it out. So, um, what I'm going to do is switch it on the ground. And I ran the black wire here with another scotch clip here. Okay. And because I'm a hack, I like using scotch clips. And that goes down to there, as you see. Okay, I got a simple on off switch right here for the ground and I'm going to get a mount to, I'm not going to drill a hole in the dash, but I'm going to basically mount this under here uh, with a, uh, like a piece of metal and I'm going to um, screw that, tech screw that into the bottom of the dash and put that on there. So that'll be uh, the on and off for the high beams only. The high beam lights and basically anywhere on the ground I can connect that ground it out and it'll work so I tested it already it works so anyway um, next up what we're gonna do is we're gonna be uh, finishing out the uh, mount for the mount for the um, switch and I'll wire in the ground and test them out so that's all we're going to have for today. So see you in about one second. Okay. We uh, got the lights installed with some RTV, which is not the right way to do this. Um, both lights are installed. Everything's out. So we're going to go check, turn them on, see if they work. Okay, here's regular low beams. And here's regular high beams. So everything's working. I put some black tape on the um, any exposed parts of the uh, connections so that it won't short out or turn on on me. Uh, I had that issue when I was putting them in. It took me a little while to get that figured out. That uh, uh, one side was grounding out. Of course, if it grounds out, it'll turn on. So put some black tape, covered up all the uh, exposed uh, uh, contacts, and we're good to go. And that's it. The hack way of installing high beams when your low beams work, but your high beams don't work. 
All you gotta do, turn on your lights, switch it on, and you got high beams. Simple as that. Is it the right way to do this? No. Right way to do it, of course, is to go through the wiring and uh, get rid of all your bad wires and rewire it the proper way. Um, but this is uh, my car, and I'm the junkyard hack, and that's the way I do it. I don't recommend anybody else doing this, and uh, if you tell me I'm wrong for doing it, yeah, you're probably right. Uh, but this is the way I'm going to do it, and uh, just to let you know, I made sure there wasn't any exposed wires that, are, that were hot under the dash. Um, any, any that were hot, I covered up with insulation, terminated, and what have you. There's no cracked wiring that's exposed or anything like that. And furthermore, as a double safety precaution, we're going to carry a fire extinguisher around with us when we drive this car around. It's just uh, one of the things I believe that you should have whether you have an old car. Put a fire extinguisher right over there in the corner, and uh, there you go. Had an issue with the Galaxy. Uh, carburetor needle and seat got stuck. It turned into a fire. I got lucky because I had an extinguisher nearby. If I hadn't had one nearby, then... Uh, it would have been a total loss, but I had one, and there you go. So, anyway, we're going to end this video out. Um, we're done this. Next thing we got to do is tackle this windshield. And by tackle it, I mean take it to the glass shop, pay a lot of money, and let them tackle it. So, that's a, for another video. Until then, see you later. Take care, and uh, get out there and work on your projects. Do something on them. You know, uh, if you're not motivated, do, do, just do something, one little thing. Um, it's Friday afternoon, and I just got off work, and all I did was just a little bit of tidy up on these uh, lights. Um, this is a job that probably should have taken me an hour to do, but it's taken me uh, a week to do it because I've been tied up with other stuff, and I hadn't had a chance to do it, had a few hitches along the way, and what have you. So, But anyway, I'm rambling. Let me stop rambling, and let me wrap this up. So uh, take care, everybody, and God bless.